What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this sort of 2D banner or header, depending on what you're making. Uh, style it's like clean, sleek, it's got these like uh, glares going on, you can add some pictures, whatever. It just re looks really cool, I really like this design, I did this a few months back for Zerka, obviously. And I'm going to show you how to do that today, so let's get started. So, first thing I want to do, oh, wow there's like a white mark there, I didn't try that. but. Um, I'm going to go to the background layer, make it completely black, and then do Command U and make it plus 5 lightness. So it's dark gray, something like that. And hold on, this is going to bother me. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is create the text. So I'm going to get the text tool, and I'm going to get white here. And I have my blue color already selected there, so I'm not going to get rid of that yet. Um, but we're going to click right in the middle. Have it the text centered, and we're gonna type in all caps. Did I just take it off of caps? Urca. So I'm leaving out the first letter of the name. Let's bump this up to like 80. And the font I'm gonna be using is called. Hold on. Let me find it real quick. Alien Encounters. Uh, fonts, man. Take so long to load. Alien Encounters Solid Regular. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to duplicate this and make it a Z. Bring that out in front. And I'm going to just extend the size of this a little bit. And line up the top. Make it evenly spaced. Something like that. Alright, sweet. Let's hide this. And then we're going to bring a line across here so let's right click rasterize the Z layer let's get the pen tool and let's go ahead and click across like this go at like an angle here holding shift okay that's way too far um, <laughs> but then you can select the bottom two layers and or points and bump them up like that then we right click fill path fill it with white okay delete and we're gonna double click on that we're going to do a color overlay and we're going to do this blue and this blue's uh, code is 00C6FF. You can see it on screen right there. And that's the color I'm going to go with. Sorry, I got to quit uh, tweet deck real quick. All right. And then we're going to right click rasterize this layer, double click on it. Then we're going to do gradient overlay. Oh, getting a phone call. Sorry about that. Um, we're going to click overlay. Uh, so make sure it's an overlay. Bump up the opacity to like 35-ish. Then we're going to do inner glow, white overlay, 34%, about a size of 3 pixels. That works. Click OK. And then we want to do the rest of the text. Do a gradient overlay. Set it to normal this time. And uh, bump down the opacity to somewhere in the teens. Like that. Let's zoom out real quick. And we might have to make this text a little bigger. So let's select both of those and maybe bump up the size. There we go. Oh my gosh. And then if we want, we can just select both of those and command E and merge them. And that'll be the text. All right, sweet. Now let's go ahead and add, the, add in the boxes and the pictures. So what we're gonna do is go to the bottom here, create a new layer, and we're gonna command H to bring up the guides. And I'm gonna make this one right in the center. And you can see it just clicked into place. We're going to get rid of that guy. And let's get the pen tool. And let's create a box here. So let me zoom in once. Come over. All right. We're going to click right on this guide. We're going to go out there and then back to there. All right. Perfect. And then let's right click fill path. We're going to do black. OK. Delete. Click on the bottom layer, create a new layer so that that layer is above or below the one we just created. And let's create another box. So this one's going to be a little bigger. And oh, we got to get it to the guide like that. And I'm holding shift this whole time, by the way, to get a perfect 45 degree angle. And let's right click fill path. We're going to do color. And we're going to do that blue which is already selected click OK right click delete path all right let's create another layer 
and go to the bottom this time and we're gonna click and we're gonna overlap these two blues because this one's gonna also be blue. Click down, all right, there we go. Right click, fill path, keep it going color. Delete path and again, create a new layer below it. And this is gonna be black. We're gonna extend a little bit past the bottom of this guy. So like right there, then we're gonna go down <clears throat> and finish her off. Holding shift that whole time guys. And we're gonna make that black. Delete the path, okay, there we go. Now we can add some pictures. Um, so we're gonna start with that last one we created. And I have a bunch of pictures already over here. Let's see where, all right. And I kind of know where these all go from making this before, um, but you're gonna have to find pictures that fit well. You can make the boxes different sizes so it works um, to how you like. So I'm gonna do something like that. And then I'm gonna click Alt, click on that layer so it clipping masks automatically. Right click, rasterize. And that's a little too much of an angle, maybe something like that. There we go. And then Command U and bring down the saturation so it's all black and white. Then set the opacity to 30%. And then you're just gonna wanna do that for each of these boxes, a different picture. And yeah, so I'm gonna go through and do that and be back when I'm done. Okay guys, there we go. Got all my pictures set up, um, all black and white with a 30% opacity. And they look pretty boring right now, but we'll make them a little more interesting uh, later on. Um, but let's kind of clean up this box and make it look really nice. So I'm gonna select all those layers in the box, the pictures and the boxes themselves, call it boxes. So we know where that layer, all those layers are and we can be a little more organized. Let's create a new layer above them and we're gonna get we're gonna go to the brush tool and we're gonna make it uh, we're gonna get a hard brush and make it six pixels wide so hardness at 100 percent size six and let's get the pen tool zoom in here click at the top of the first box right here hold shift go down hold shift go across hold shift go down again and we're gonna right click on this stroke brush Make sure we have white, click OK, and boom, there is a nice like outline. And one thing that annoys me is the roundedness of this. So to clean that up, we're gonna zoom in and we're just gonna go across like that. Hold shift, go down. Okay, it's not exactly in line, but it's okay. And we're gonna go dun, dun, all right. And let me select these points bring them out, there we go, and do the same thing over here. All right, and then we can right click, fill path, white, okay, delete, and there we go. We have a nice like outline here. And then to make this a little nicer, if we duplicate it, we can move it to the right a little bit. And then if we command click on the original, and then go to the new one we created and put, press delete, then command D to deselect, we bump this out a little wider we have like a nice little secondary line too which can look really nice uh, you can also close it right there I like another line so it connects which is what I did originally but I'm just gonna leave it like this for now because it's no big deal um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna put these two in a group call it the outline all right I'm just gonna have everything sorted because once we get to the glares you're gonna need to know where everything's at and yeah it gets a little confusing but Let's move on to the backing, the background text, which is again, some more pictures. So I'm gonna select this bottom layer and let's go ahead and choose the screenshot I have. Um, this is from one of their, one of the Zerka's videos and I'm gonna make this a little smaller and actually I'll make it a little bigger. So he, his head, I want his head like right next to his, uh, the text. We'll do something like that. That's pretty good. Right click, rasterize, and again, we're gonna make it black and white, so bring down the saturation. And then we'll bring down the opacity. It's gonna to have to go a little further, so like 10 um, than these guys, because these guys stand out a little more than this guy. And I also have another picture here that I added <clears throat> in the original, uh, which is his like Twitter picture, and I had it behind the text directly, and I like pen tool them out and everything. 
Uh, but this is going to take a while to pen tool, so I'm not going to even bother. But that's another thing I added. But I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Now, let's go ahead to the top of the text layer, and we're going to create a new layer. And this is when we're adding the glares, and this is when it really comes together. So let's get the rectangle tool, have it a fill of white, and create a long strip that's pretty thin, but pretty thick, like not... Not too thick, not too thin, somewhere in between like that. And then we're going to right click, rasterize it, transform it, command T, and let's go 45 degrees. And let's bring it over and let's duplicate it and add it wherever we want. So do like that. All right. Um, I should probably space these out a little better. Maybe a big space. And another one all right and then we can select all of those and set them as overlays and then we want to go through and erase bits of them so I have a brush of like 250 and let me go ahead and I'll erase that bottom part this next one uh, I'll erase like that maybe in the middle do the top that guy okay and we'll do the bottom all right so those kind of go back and forth okay that looks pretty good we could add maybe a little more so if you have like want one in a certain spot um say i want this guy i can duplicate it and just drag it over and put it say like here cool and then you can do that as many times as you want and then you can add in some different shapes so i like to then create a thicker one um, so let's create a new layer and let's do a bit thicker all right, right click, rasterize, 45 degrees. And I keep these bigger ones only on the right and middle. I don't go over here. So I'll do something like this, maybe right there, and then across the text. All right, overlay, and then let's erase some bits. So we'll do like that. Um, we'll do the opposite, maybe like something like that. That's pretty cool. And maybe the bottom. All right, not bad. And you can do that as many times as you want, guys, uh, till you see like you, till you get to a point that you like it and think it think it looks nice. Might take a little practice and playing around to get the right spacing. And you don't want to have too much or too little. You need that perfect medium, that happy medium. But uh, this isn't complete. We want to add some thin ones. So let's create a new layer. Let's get the brush tool and let's get it a size of like three. And let's go straight down. That actually might be a little too thin. Let's go like four or five. Four works. And again, we're going to rotate it 45. Set it as overlay a while. Why not? And let's go ahead and add it. So this is when you can start overlaying it on already existing overlay parts. So like that one would look pretty nice. We'll do it like right there on the edge. Maybe one there. All right. Now it's starting to uh, come complete once you have these thin ones. There we go. And sweet, now it's, it's looking pretty good. Um, some of these you don't actually even have to erase any at all, unless you see a spot you want to erase, like right here, I don't want that. Um, maybe this one, there we go. But yeah guys, there you go, you can just play around with that a little bit. And then the last thing we want to do related to these stripes um, is add some colored ones. So like we don't want this all to be gray over here. It gets kind of boring and we will add some brushes that'll add some color, but we want something at this angle. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer, get the brush. We're going to keep it at the same thickness. We're going to just do a dash like that. Then let's duplicate it, drag it over. There we go. Then let's select both of those, duplicate them and evenly space them out like so and then we might have to do one more there we go and then we can select all of those merge them 
and let's do 45 and let's place them so we'll do one there do one like right here <clears throat> Do like the top bit of one right here and then the bottom below like maybe here there we go that just adds some color maybe the placement isn't too good um, I actually don't like the one below but we'll do something like that and actually if we do this one like that and this guy that looks a little better just kind of play around with that uh, get it how you like and you can see why we organize these layers because we have a bunch of just layers now. I probably should have grouped these, so if we wanted to make changes, we can do that. But I didn't, so we're going to have to deal with it. Uh, now again, let's create a new layer, and now let's add some brushes. So I'm going to be using my personal brush pack. You guys can use whatever you want, um, but <clears throat> I'm going to be using, obviously, my brush pack. It's in my store. I'll put it in the description if you guys want to buy it. Uh, I'm going to select this kind of triangular square one. Let's get it down a little bit and maybe a little smaller we'll do like boom 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 mm. boom there we go add some more color we'll decrease the opacity on that a little bit there we go that's not too bad and actually I want to get this text and um <clears throat> let's go below that text uh thing the text layer so this is our text layer we want to create a new layer below that and let's get a black. Let's get our brush. Let's do a soft brush this time. And let's bump up the size. And we're going to go across the bottom and set that to overlay. Decrease the opacity a little bit. And then let's create a new one. And we'll do white and do the same thing at the top. And decrease the opacity a little bit. There we go, that just adds a little uh, sort of like depth, I guess you could say. Just makes it look a bit nicer, in my opinion. Um, let's see, what haven't we done? That's about it. Um, we're gonna actually tweak the text a little more. Um, so we're gonna get the text tool. We're gonna align it left, and we're gonna get the Gotham Medium font. Gotham Medium Regular, and let's set this to like 14. And let's click right about here. Zoom in, and we're gonna do like the YouTube channel. So actually, need all caps. YouTube.com slash Zerka HD. All right, we're gonna put it in the left there. Then let's bring up the guides, and we'll do a center job. Oops, no, I don't want that centered. Let's do the center now, and we're gonna do dash. Member of the Sidemen dash. And we're gonna click Sidemen and we're gonna make it the blue. All right, sweet. Command H to hide and then we can create a new layer here. Get the brush tool and let's get the hard brush again. Do a size of like four. And let's click right next to this YouTube link and go across. And that's a little thick. We can thin it out though if we zoom in and just do one of those. Cool. Zoom out. There we go. And that's essentially the completed banner, guys. Um, if we just, everything's in a group for me. So if we just Command J to duplicate, Command E to merge it, duplicate it again, filter, sharpen, sharpen more, kind of cleans it up and everything. But yeah, guys, that's basically how to create that whole thing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you guys use this. Let me know if you do. Tweet it at me if you do, at Quezzy. I'll be sure to take a look. I'll probably favorite, retweet, reply. Um, add my Snapchat, which is Quezzy, and you can see what I'm doing, uh, what tutorials are coming, what I'm working on. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. And like the video at 100 likes, I'll put this file in the description if you guys want that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.